Okay. How the heck do you draw that? 64 pi inches squared. Squared square is 2 cubed is 3, right? Yeah. Just think of like 2 dimensional, 3 dimensional. Okay. How do we find the surface area for number two? Well, we can find the base by half times the pop and times the perimeter. Yeah, they kind of already drew. Is that the slant height? Five is the slant height. So it's right, everything's over here, right? What shape is number two? Pyramid. Area of the base plus perimeter slant height divided by two. Okay. How do I find the area of the base, though? Uh, half times the positive times the perimeter. Right. For a regular base, you use a positive times perimeter divided by 2. So, a positive is 3. Perimeter is, how would I find perimeter? 5.4 times 6. 5.4 times 6. Divided by 2. That would give me, gosh, why is it? I don't think I can fix it. So that just gives you the base, and then you do perimeter times slant height divided by two. So perimeter is still 5.4 times six times slant height, that's the five, divided by two. For the base area? I used, it's regular polygon, so I used one half the pop and perimeter. And then area. just add those two together? Yeah, area of the base, right here, area of the base, plus that other stuff. This 5.4 times 6, that's the perimeter of the base. So that's 3 times 5 times. Three times five times four times six divided by two plus five point four times six times five divided by two. Anyway, let's keep moving here. Number three. Divided by one and two. No way. Surface area of a what's that shape called? Cylinder. Cylinder. So it's two pi r squared plus two pi r h. Two pi r squared, r squared is six, r is six. So this is the two pi r squared. Plus two r h pi. Plus two times r times h times pi. Probably don't want to put the pi in your calculator, although I will upset both answers. Just put pi on the answer. So this would be like 6 squared times 2, 72 pi. 12 times 9, 108 pi. And all together, what makes 108 pi. Two times the base area. How would I find the base area? Uh, 12 times 8. 12 times 8. It's just a rectangle. Okay. Plus perimeter times height. 
perimeter? What's the perimeter of the base? 12 plus 8 plus 12 plus 8, right? Which on this one would come out to 40. Perimeter of the base. Times the height, 6. Let's see, I don't know if I remember this. Was it like 392 or something? 432. 432. 432. areas, volumes are three-dimensional. <coughs> okay, uh, I didn't draw this next one very good, but very well. Uh, but it's supposed to just be a rectangular prism. So how do we find the volume of a rectangular prism? Right. Prisms, base times height. So it's just 5 times 4 for the base, times 15. Just multiply them all together. 5 times 4 times 15. I think that one was 600, didn't it? No, oh, wait. 300. 300.
Yeah, can yeah, if you want to make a note card of these, you can use it. That's fine. Well, I can see them as long as I can. Yeah, you can use it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Or you can sit right there. That one. Yeah. Nobody's sitting right there. Right? No one sits there now. I can picture it. I'll just send it to him. Okay, thank you. Uh, what do you record off of now? Do you just like this? I live. Or do you need to call me? Or do you need to call me? Well, or do you just stop it? Just, there's a camera on the current Oh, okay. Okay, how do I do number eight? Um, I know how to get the trapezoid. Okay, it's basically a prism, so we need to area the base. The base is the trapezoid. The base are the two sides that are the same. So how do I find the area of this trapezoid right here in front? Uh, seven plus 12 divided by two times 4.5. Okay, average of the base is seven and 12 times the height. Okay, this is just the trapezoid area, not the volume of the trapezoidal prism. So how do I find the volume of the prism? Uh, multiply that answer by five. Right. We just found the area of the base, so we just need the height. So times five. The height in this case is like the depth. If you lay the trapezoid down on the bottom, it would be five would be the height. And that's feet. Yeah. It's a trapezoidal prism. So you do the area of the base, which is the trapezoid, times the height, which is five. Uh, what does this come out to? Anybody plugging in here? Uh, 427.5 feet. How did you get five? Is that right? Divide by two, Will. Two thirds. Yeah, keep it. Wait, well, how did you buy for the height if it's only five? If this is the base, the height. if you like think about this like lying down, if you flip it over, it's five. Is nine. So five, it just the height kind of depends. Like on number nine. The height of the cylinder is still 74, even though it's How many are there? going sideways. Huh? 15? Yeah. Um, yeah. What are like, the little lines? You can add the numbers. They're like on 7 and 12 and 5. What do they have a little line? What? On number 8. The number they have a little line. Oh, that's a symbol. That means speed. Oh, that's a symbol. That means speed. Two of those little marks means inches. Okay. And then yeah. Okay. Yeah. Number nine, cylinder. Let's see. That one's right here. Pi r squared times h. So is 50, 50 is the what on this? Diameter. Diameter. Because it goes all the way across. So if 50 is the diameter, what is the radius? 25. 25. So I'm going to do 25 squared. Times Which is pi times the height. 25 squared is 625. Times 7 would be 4. 46,000, sorry, I'm saying. 250. Pi. Meters cubed. Copied the shapes from the test and I made the numbers up. Oh. Things are shaping Nothing up special well. about the numbers. Things are shaping up well. Will, you have to do it. I'm going to hit someone. And that's on the wheel. Well, Mari's closer. You just. No, she. I'm less afraid of Mari than Gracie. I don't know. Will, you Okay, number 10 is a what? Cone. Pi R squared times H, almost identical to a cylinder. Pi R squared times H divided by 3. So, what is the radius for this cone? 10. 10. Not 20. 
Notice that happens a lot on this. Uh, so 10 squared times pi times the height. Don't forget to divide by 3. That is what? 2,000 divided by 3. I got 666. I'll just say 667 pi. Wrong school, buddy. Okay. No, see, she's got the same answer. Mr. Jordan, Mr. Jordan, no. That's why you said we've been there. Shh. Oh, no. I think not. Wait, is that the actual answer? Oh, you plus a pie. Yeah. 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 Okay. Number 11 is a what? Another pyramid. Area of the base times the height. Divide by 3. How do I find the area of the base? 5 times 5. Times the height. Divide by 3. 58.3. It's like really, it's really important. I don't believe you. Okay, we need to, you know, the, the guy that says the one that says, I cannot, we need to find out what that's from. That's the opposite of really important. This is oh, a lot it's for Mr. I can't pay attention until I figure it out. Right, yeah. You were paying attention? Yep. I was. The base of the pyramid. It's kind of tiny. The base of the pyramid is the base of the pyramid. Just like, 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 Base times height divided by three, right? Area of the base. Area of the base times the height. No, the fourth is the fourth is the base area. The base area. If it's a square, five by five, you do five times five. If it's a triangle, if it's a, it depends on what the shape is. Okay, number twelve. You guys know what that shape would be called? Huh? Yeah, it's a what kind of it's a what kind of prism? Triangular. Did you get your phone out? Dylan, did you get your phone out? No. Okay. Now I did not draw I did not draw this very well, but there's supposed to be a right angle right here. So how can I find the area of the base? You can do five times twelve and six times height. Okay. And then divide by two. If this is a right angle, yes, we can use five and twelve for the base and height of the triangle. So the area of the triangle is five times twelve divided by two. Remember on triangles you have to divide by two. Five times twelve is six. That is just for the base. So then you can multiply that by the height, which multiply, is forty. Multiply by the height times three. Um ninety. Ninety. Yeah, they're kind of hard to draw. I was, I was imagining cheesecake. What's wrong with you? Okay, get close, get close. Okay, 
Number 13 is a what? Nope. 12 is a... 12 is a what? Um, triangle. Wait, no, it's a... Triangle. Yeah. Uh, oh. Okay, notice how it comes up to a point. Pyramid. Pyramid. It's a... Pentagonal pyramid. Because the base is the pentagon. So we're using the pyramid formula. It says base times height divided by three. But how do I find the area of the base on 13? Right, apothem times perimeter divided by two. What's the apothem? What is that? What is that? Guys, I have no idea. What is that? What is it? Put it away. Kristen? You can't. Boys, hush. Okay, apothem times perimeter divided by two. Wait, that's just the base. Apothem times perimeter. Oh, I forgot the perimeter, sorry. Apothem, quiet. What's the perimeter? Uh, 8.7 times 5. You gotta burn Why do you want to see it, Will? Guys, I'm about to start taking points off. Be quiet. Okay, apothem times perimeter divided by 2. Because remember that the regular has one half. Okay, that's the area of the base. One half, or divide by two, apothem, perimeter. That's the area of the base. For a regular, whatever shape it is, regular pentagon, regular hexagon, whatever, you do one half apothem, perimeter. Okay, then once you get the area of the base, whoops, right here, then you take that times the height and divide by three. What's the height? 15, and divide that by 3. 14 was kind of hard for me to draw, but uh, do you guys know what the shape is there? Uh, it's a triangular pyramid. Triangular pyramid. Um, that's a 9, a 5, a 7, a 10. How could I find the area of the base? 7 times 5. Divided by 2. Okay. There's a right angle right here, so that we can use 7 and 5 for the base and height. So triangles, remember you have to do seven times five divided by two. That's the area of the base. Then we need the height, and then we need to divide by three. So the height is 10 and divide by three. I got the same answer as another one. Yeah, it's a coincidence. And what are those units? Oh uh, yeah, you it's cubed, I guess. What what did you get on that one? Yeah, fifty-eight point three. Fifty eight. Yeah. Yeah, that is kind of random. Which other problem was like that? Wait, you... Uh eleven. Oh, it's 
Okay, what is the radius of a volleyball if it takes 32 pi over 3 cubic inches of air to fill it? What kind of problem is this? If it, problem? Okay, is it surface area or volume? What are we talking about? Uh, volume. Volume. There's a couple clues. Uh, we're talking about putting air into the volleyball. That's the inside is volume. Also, inches cubed, that's a volume. Anyways, so we're going to set the volume formula of volleyball in what shape? A sphere. So we're going to set the sphere volume formula equal to the volume. And use algebra to solve. What would be one good first step? One, one thing we can do for uh, that. Like pi, 32, pi. 3 by 4. Okay, what can we do with the pi? Get rid of that. Yeah, if you divide by pi, um, it just goes away. What else did somebody guess? Divide, divide by 3. Divide by 4 thirds to get rid of it also. It comes out of 8. So that, I'm just going to write it down for now. Divide by 4 thirds. Eight. Okay, Will said that comes out as eight. So is eight the answer? No. No, you've got to do the cube Okay, I'm guessing the one on the test isn't going to come out this nicely. I'm not sure it might. Oh boy. I, these numbers I just made up. But what's the opposite of cubing? Cube root. So you have to do the cube root of eight. Two. Two, because two times two times two is eight, right? That would be a very small uh, volume. Is, is, <coughs> like, is he going to set it up kind of like the test? Okay. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah, pretty much the same thing. Okay. Just different numbers. Okay. 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 Okay.